about 28 years ago in 1987 during communal riots in UP, 42 Muslims were collected and they were shot at close range in cold blood by some people who were, who were in uniform. Later inquiries indicated that the people in uniform were actually from UP police, they were from the PAC. Inquiries later uh, indicted 19 police persons. Out of these 19, three died during the trial. And on Saturday, a Delhi court acquitted all these 16 people in the killing of these 42 uh, Muslims in cold blood. The court said there was insufficient evidence to convict these 16 persons. Obviously, this has given us, this has brought relief to the families of the policemen. But at the same time, the victim families are absolutely shattered. They feel that injustice has been done and justice has not been done to them and they are dead. Uh, if one goes through the timeline, it is very clear that a clear attempt was made to help the accused persons of the police. The charge sheet was not filed for as many as nine years and it is only when the victim families they raised a hue and cry that the Supreme Court intervened and they transferred the, it transferred the case from UP to the Delhi court. But it now appears that even that hasn't helped because the prosecution did not take the necessary steps to bring the guilty to book. That is how the 16 have got away. The question that arises is that if these 16 persons or these 19 persons are not guilty of killing these 42 Muslims in cold blood, then who killed those 42? I think this is a question that the court should have asked itself. One hopes that the Supreme Court, which had initially intervened, will intervene once again, because in this case, it's very clear the prosecution hasn't tried hard enough. And one hopes the Supreme Court orders a fresh trial in this case. This is known as the Hashimpura killings case, and justice must be done. In fact, if in a democracy, the feeling goes around that some people from a particular community can get away, others from another community will not get justice, this would not be right. In any democratic system, rule of law must take its due course. So one hopes the Supreme Court intervenes and orders fresh trial.